Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you how to use the warp brush to lose weight in Paint Shop Pro. This is a photo of me out taking HDR pictures with a couple of my cameras. My son Jacob took it of me. I'm going to use the warp brush to give myself a little bit of a weight reduction treatment. The warp brush is down near the bottom of the toolbar. Select it and then choose a warp mode and size and strength and so forth. Warp modes are the important thing in conjunction with size. You've got a couple of important ones. Push, expand, and contract. Push does exactly what it sounds like. It pushes material from one direction to another. Expand makes something larger. It creates it, bubbles it up, and then contract, shrinks it. For the most part, I use push. Now, you can see my down in my waistline, I could probably lose a few pounds there. So selecting the push mode, I'm going to lower my brush size here to 200 and see how that works. In general, you'll use a larger brush than you think because if you use something too small, let's say at 50, it's either not going to show up or if it's going to be too obvious. What you need to do is pull quite a bit of material at one time, click and drag to push. Now you can see the folds of my shirt. I'm trying to keep those fairly consistent after they're all pushed in the same direction. That looks pretty good. I'm zooming out and then zooming back in to kind of push this in a little bit and that up. Basically you try to flatten the stomach. Neck is often an area that looks out of uh, you know, overweight and you can use the warp mode to try to shrink that. So I'm going to leave the brush at 150 and try to push the back of my neck in right under my ear and see how that looks. That looks better. I'm going to undo those so that you can compare that with a size 50 brush where I can more selectively push that skin right behind the ear and my head in. That works too. I think I prefer probably the larger brush. That way it just pulls everything in really nicely. Underneath the chin, another area to really focus on. And here I am going to have to really reduce the brush size down and try to just pull that in just a little bit. Pull this area here trying to keep that line straight. And that's where I probably could raise the brush size and get a better effect there. All right, let's go 150. Again, I'm going to push push that in just a little bit. Bring that up just to try to remove the bulginess of that. Zooming back out looks pretty effective. You can also reduce other parts of your body like your arms or hands. Pay special attention to the background here. It's not just a uniform white or a color. We've got lines that are going to give any sort of warping away. So in this case warp along the lines of the background as you're pushing or pulling the skin in. In this case right where I'm warping now, it's going to be virtually impossible unless I really zoom in, lower the size of my brush, and click and drag from within more than without. In this scenario, it might be effective then to select the clone brush and clone over where the 
mortar is on the bricks which illustrates just sometimes how you got to go to extra lengths to make something look realistic or, or good and you're using more than one tool so the stomach area arms covered textures to the side where we're pulling from and to notice I really didn't really worry about the tree too much because I can warp that and it's really not obvious at all I can just warp these trees around and you're not going to notice that much now let's go down to my legs here the background is fairly uniform I can increase the size of my brush and just just tweak the legs in let's say if I want to have a slimmer legs there we go I can do it from one side or both there nothing incredibly dramatic here several small adjustments to help me appear to be fitter and lose a little weight and if I wanted to actually increase let's say my muscles there I'm going I might press expand expand give myself a pretty big bicep there <laughs> uh, again pay attention to what's behind you because in that case you could see that expansion in the column but I didn't want that so I'm gonna just make several clicks here on my bicep to expand that out the, behind the camera and the tripod there's just too much going on there I might be able to get away with a little bit but not too much that's too much there All right, that about covers it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.